Hey, what's up? This is Antonio Thompson from AntonioRThompson.com, and I'm coming to you from my home office here in Brooklyn, New York. Today, I want to talk about value, right? You hear people say, provide value, provide, provide value, and you'll make more money. But what the heck is value? In today's live, I'm going to share with you what value is and how you can leverage that to make more money in your business. Value, value. Everyone talks about, you know, uh, providing value to your marketplace, providing value to your audience. And the truth is, that's correct, right? There's, there's really no mystery um, behind you know, how to make more money. All you have to do is provide value, right? And so if you look at Michael Jordan and his 30 plus pair of sneakers, right? Clearly, there's an audience, a very large audience, that finds value in Jordan sneakers. They probably believe, I mean, I can't remember the commercials from back in the day, but they probably believe that they had a pair of Jordans, right, perceived value. If I had a pair of Jordans, I'd be able to play like Michael Jordan, right? So people, you know, line, line up for like hours, even days, to purchase his sneakers. The same thing is true, you know, when uh, Apple first came out with the iPhone and the iPod. Right? There were lines outside their store because there was perceived value in that particular product. And so if you're building a business online, if you're doing any kind of business, whether it be brick and mortar, online, offline, whatever it is, you have to provide value if you want to make money. And Jim Rohn said it best. He said, you don't get paid for the hour, you get paid for the value you bring to the hour. Now think about this quote. And you'll find that it's not just you know massive action that's going to get you more money it's purposeful purposeful action that you know impacts others that helps others that will actually make you much much more and more money and so think about this right your audience has pains they have struggles right if you are struggling to make money, if you're struggling to you know, recruit people into your business, if you're struggling to generate leads, if you're struggling to you know, make a sale, it's because you haven't demonstrated your value to your audience yet. Right? You haven't provided educational content. You haven't provided helpful tips to help your audience solve, solve a problem, which is why they're not seeing you as valuable. They don't, they, they don't, they're not buying from you, right? When someone sees you, when your audience perceives you as an authority and a leader and someone that can help you help them, they're going to whip out their wallet, their, their credit card, a cash, and actually want to buy from you because they, you have a solution to their problems, right? People don't want to work with people they don't perceive as an authority, right? Michael Jordan, you know, back in the day, even today, he still sells, you know, sneakers up to Wazoo, right? People perceive him as an authority. Right. And so they still believe that if I had a pair of Jordans, it's going to make me, you know, the best basketball player ever. Right. Back in the day, I had a pair of Patrick Ewing's. I don't know if you remember Patrick Ewing. He played for the Knicks. But back in the day, my mom wouldn't buy me Jordans. I didn't actually want Jordans. But I had a pair of Patrick Ewing's. Why? Because Patrick Ewing was my best, my favorite player back in the day. And so he came out with a sneaker. It was much cheaper <laughs> than, uh, than Jordans, but he came out with a sneaker and I was like, cool. Patrick Ewing's. I'm gonna get sneakers like I'm gonna get Patrick Ewing sneakers, and I'm gonna be able to play like Patrick Ewing. And that didn't happen, but there was perceived a perception of value there. And so, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as uh, someone who is looking to make more money, you have to provide more value to the marketplace. And so, what is value? And that was the um, one of the things I mentioned in the status of this live stream. What is value? And value is simply information to help people that's plain and simple right information that's going to help someone solve a problem information that answers a question of someone else right as an entrepreneur we are in the business of solving problems and so you can't solve problems that you don't know what the problems what the, what the problems are of your audience so you actually have to ask your audience you know what 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 are they struggling with you have to understand, you know, who you are providing solutions to. You have to ask them, hey, what, what, what are you struggling with? You have to go where they are and, and see what they're talking about. You have to go with, go, go read the magazines that they're reading, read the books that they're reading. You have to be in the environments that they're in to actually uncover, you know, what those pains and struggles are. And then you turn around and take that information and an provide answers, right? You can provide answers through 
through a live stream like this. You can provide answers through you know, a blog post. You can provide answers through a status update on Facebook, right? When you turn around and answer your audience's questions, right, and provide that value, they're gonna be like, hmm, interesting. This guy knows exactly what I'm dealing with. He knows my pains and struggles. He knows what my problems are, and he gave me a solution to that problem. I wanna connect with him. I wanna learn more about what he does because I think he can help me with this problem. So whether it's, whether it's um, you know, health and wellness, whether it is finance, whether it's travel, whether it's you know, um, basket weaving, whether it's knitting, whatever it is, if, if that's your audience, go into the, the environments where they are and find out what they're struggling with. If someone is dealing with financial challenges, maybe they're having a tough time budgeting. Right? Maybe they have a tough time, you know, setting up a budget. Maybe you create create some content that says, today I'm gonna to share with you, you know, four easy ways to uh, set up your budget even if you are not mathematically inclined, right? So you share these four tips, you share with someone a solution to a problem, and they come into your world and you're like, wow, this guy, he really, you know, answered my question. He gave me some cool tips on how I can actually learn how to budget myself without having to, you know, be a mathematician, right? The same thing is true for, you know, travel. Maybe someone is about to get married, right? And they want to do a travel, a destination wedding, let's say. Let's say, you know, you've been in that sort of um, that group where they're talking about weddings and destination weddings and you find a, a problem, right? You know, how do you, how to find, you know, a, a awesome venue that has a great caterer for your destination when you're making this up. But let's say that's a question that someone has. You go out there, create some content, you create a Facebook Live video, you create a, a blog post um, about that to answer that question. And in the end, you have a call to action for them to contact you for more information on how you can travel, you know, or, or um, you know, have your wedding at various resorts for discounted prices, whatever it is, and they contact you, they're gonna perceive you as the authority and now you can actually, you know, help them in some way and that can be a sale for you. That can be, you know, a, a new business partner for you, right? And so when you lead with value, when you come across as the authority, like Michael Jordan, like LeBron James, I, I'm using basketball analogies, but like any authority uh, in, in the world, when you come across as an authority and someone who, who can solve problems and answer questions, you'll make more money. You'll make more sales, you'll get more uh, commissions, you will uh, impact a lot of people because you are solving problems. So. That's all I wanted to share with you uh, this afternoon on this live stream. I definitely hope you got some value out of this, uh, this live stream. If you did, definitely uh, leave a comment below, let me know. And if you're looking for uh, some assistance on how you can actually become more valuable and become a leader in your niche, whatever it is, send me a message uh, you know, directly or comment below. I'll reach out to you. We can have a, a brief 15 minute conversation on how I can actually help you become more valuable and, and provide more value to your marketplace and translate that into leads, sales, commission, cash flow, in your business. So have an awesome and amazing Friday and an incredible weekend and I'll see you in the next live stream. Peace.